So today we're going to take a look at the new Vessel 2200 MBH. At the time that I'm making this video, I could not find this on Amazon Japan. And the packaging indicates that it is made in Japan. It comes with one bit of the impact ball variety. And this is the original packaging. I have not removed any packaging. The screwdriver came just like that in the box. And the only other thing in the box is the bubble wrap and the bit. And other than that, the box is empty. The reason that I am pointing this out is because Gabriel at New Review, his was not packaged in the same way. And this is the bit. I purchased mine on Amazon USA, and I'll give you that link. Shipped from some USA warehouse in California to me using the United States Postal Service. This similar product, the 2200, this one I bought on Amazon Japan, and this one is made in Thailand. On the product itself, there is nothing that indicates that this is made in Japan. So here's the cap. The cap is plain plastic. There's no logo, no markings. We just have a logo here and there is nothing that says that it is made in Japan. We see the same markings or lack of markings on both of the varieties. This handle pops off and you have a stubby ratchet driver. The thing that's really pleasing about this form factor is, is that it lends itself to one-handed use. Grab this Torx bit from the impact ball set. So the ergonomics are nice because when you've got a ratchet, you break the fastener loose. And then of course, because of the back drag friction, the ratchet becomes useless. Well, you just reach right there and you get the fastener out and you're done. Same with putting the fastener in there. Give it the final tighten with the ratchet and it all feels like it makes sense. Getting back here on the ring one-handed can be a little bit of a challenge, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty nice. These roll gear style ratchets are my favorite ratchets because the back drag is unbeatable. But ergonomics of this compared to these style, this is very good for one handed use. This bit holder is strictly magnetic. It's a very strong magnet. This is not a sleeve. This does not move. There is no BB. There is no physical locking mechanism in this at all. It is just a magnet. Compared to some other typical USA bit holder examples, I want to show how deep this bit holder is. So we can see here about what it is. This one's a little bit deeper and then this one is a little bit deeper still. And the vessel is a little bit deeper yet than this deepest example. This is a stubby bit. Uh, I believe this is an annex bit. And uh, you can see how far that goes in there and it's a little difficult to remove. And this is even more difficult to remove. The magnetic retention in the vessel is very strong. This is a more standard C6 style bit. The magnet that they're using in this is very strong. This hot set is good, but the, I can feel there's a significant difference in the magnet strength with the vessel. This Tone adapter fits in here really nice. And then this is a Vera insert bit for comparison. It does seem to accommodate these double-ended bits from Vessel. I don't think these are the best choice in here. These double-ended slim bits do not fit well in this at all. 
Japanese bits with 13 millimeter anvil fit in here very nicely. Here's an annex double anvil. And then here's a C6L. This, this one will really show. So here's a traditional E6. And E6 goes in past the detent and it seems pretty good because it just gets past that detent and seems to support the bit in there pretty well. There is wobble in the handle as well, but because it's in your hand, I don't know, I don't really notice that. It doesn't really bother me. It's a play at the bit holder end is what matters to me more. This Fix-It Sticks torque adapter is not quite long enough to hit the magnet down here, so it does not stay in that. All right, so let's look at, we'll look at the bit fitment on the stubby, but let's look at this. These type of slim bit holder extensions happen to fit in this thing. That's kind of, you know, it's kind of interesting that that does fit in there. You know, creates some interesting options, I guess. Not all bit holders will. Like, this does not fit. This, eh, that one kind of fits. This one does fit. This one fits really well. So, and it's, and it's really solid on there. Yeah, that might be getting carried away, but... Yeah, if you need an extension, I guess. Okay, let's look at the stubby bit holder. There's no magnet in this. It uses a wire spring ring on there. So when you put in any kind of a C6 style bit with those detents, it locks right in there. This really locks in here. Here's a C6L from PB Swiss. And it really locks in there. All right, so here's, this is the Festool Centrotech. For bit wobble, this is much sloppier than this. You're probably going to be using a short bit on there anyway, so it doesn't matter. But this is also not as deep as this. Okay, those do work. And of course, these are cross compatible. So Vessel has a bunch of these different detachable ratchet head screwdrivers. Uh, check out their 2200 line to see all the different variations of those. I'll put links in the description. That's my look at the Vessel 2200 MDH. I like it. Thank you for watching.